Hey, this is Ciara Hand of the Yellow Ranger, and you're watching Heirloom. We got my tea, and we have a, a, a talk today. I want to talk about what happens if the split becomes properly official. Now, this is not speculation. This is my kind of thoughts on how the fandom is going to react, what is going to happen, and I'm going to try and predict what's going to happen in the next couple of months. So before you put in the comments, the split's not happening, blah, 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 blah. This is what I think will happen if or when, should I say, that Hasbro decides to come out and talk about it. So grab a drink, grab some, I've, I've got some tea, which is perfectly British that I've been trying to undo. Um, so let's get into it. Now, if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as a cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Let's move that there. Okay, let's talk about it. So it, it's the day about the split. Hasbro has officially come out and announced in a press release or in a fan first Friday, whatever they want to do, it would say something like along the lines of, uh, we want to announce today that Power Rangers and uh, Toye or Hasbro and Toy are now splitting. We're best friends. We're still gonna be in contact with, with each other, but we've decided that we are going to be splitting. Um, we wish Has uh, Toy the best of luck. And I don't think Toy would say anything. I think they would just be like, eh, they've already taken off Power Rangers off their, off their toy list. So that's absolutely fine. So the announcement happens. Um, Hasbro mentions that they are going animated. They say that they are still producing the movie and that they are going to with Jonathan Entwistle's uh, vision as well and that coming soon and that they've got a kids version. Um, they also mention that they are going to be taking a break which could be a couple of years, could be uh, a year or so, whatever, I don't know. I think that you'd probably see a couple of years and that's going to be the, the main thing. Now the news is going to go everywhere. It will be plastered on Facebook. It will be plastered on Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Now the major like news outlets that talk about this within the fandom, you know, myself, the Luma Nerdy, uh, No Pink Spandex. And I've got a feeling Power Rangers now would make a return and just say something. I have a feeling that that would be said at some point and they'll talk about uh, what's going on and they'll just say breaking news, Power Rangers and, uh, or Hasbro and Toya are now uh, officially parting ways and that's it. Um, you know, we're gonna talk about it. That, that is a thing that is it, gonna be talked about for such a long time. Now, I feel like this is what happens with the fans. Now the fans are gonna go crazy. I mean, they are going to go crazy. We've already seen it even with the possibility of this happening. We've seen this go on. Like you, the second you mention about the split, you'll have some person come up and have a massive go and they'll argue, they will argue, but the fans will go crazy on this. I feel like with the news already, we've kind of adjusted to it already. So it would be more of a, oh yeah, that's cool. All right, that's fine. But the second, if we didn't know it by then, it would have been it would have been even more crazy. So I feel like that's, that's gonna be, like the main thing that goes on you know you're gonna get certain questions like uh, how could hasbro do this uh is power rangers over has better keep my man my man tommy you know god damn that's gonna happen uh saban needs to buy back the brand power rangers needs super sentai what will happen now and that will literally be the sorts of questions that gets posted everywhere i mean it will be posted everywhere and Sometimes people are going to go, well, it's over. You'll get some people that are accepting, some people that will snap back and argue, some people that will troll. It, it's going to happen. So people will get annoyed. Petitions, emails will be sent. I, I now can see the petitions. Power Rangers needs Super Sentai, like Super Sentai needs Power Rangers or something along the lines of that. Or Hasbro you know, needs to sell it to Saban. Hasbro needs to uh, continue working with Toye, blah, 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 blah you know how many signatures and to be fair those petitions won't work people will just be like okay what the fuck or you know they'll agree and go what the hell um i just don't think petitions work like that for, for tv petitions work for bigger things uh fans will get annoyed and to be honest i think most of them wouldn't be able to handle it and some of them i think won't believe it i think that you will see go like oh no hasbro has officially announced this but hasbro doesn't know me i won't uh, i won't uh, believe it until i see it and then when the, if an animated a kids the adult version whatever you want to see comes out much later on or a series of power rangers that will be hasbro's own american footage type thing american design 
I feel that people will only accept it when they see it, which again is a big thing. I also think some of the people that haven't seen the news, they'll say, why has it happened? And I think that we'll get quite a few of those sorts of questions. Why has it happened? I didn't know about this. When did it all go on? Can you please give me some more information? And that'll be it. People will just link to the process and you know, they'll, they'll, they'll just, they'll just link and be like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. Now, this is again, another big thing. Fans will turn around and say, hey, let's just boycott. Let's get it. You know, if you're not using Sentai footage, I'm not gonna buy your products whatsoever. I, I'm sick and tired and, you know, until then I'm just gonna do it. And we know they won't boycott it because they'll want to know what happens with Power Rangers. It's like a thing, you know, it's like, I'm gonna boycott this, but then you kind of really want to see it. So again, that will be a main thing. They will say it, but I don't think they'll go and go through it. Uh, if someone like, starts burning their merchandise, don't do that because at the end of the day, you lose a figure um, or you lose a product, but Hasbro still have your money. So that thing again is absolutely pointless. Don't go burning Tommy figures or lightning collection. Uh, if you're gonna do it, sell it and just say, I want the money, get your money back. You know, do it that way rather than I'm gonna burn it and then you lose out completely. Just don't, don't, don't burn your stuff or bin it, sell it, make some money back and buy something different. I'm just telling you the tea. <laughs> So then they'll say that they won't buy Hasbro merch and that's fine, don't buy it. Don't like it, don't buy it. Very, very simple. Okay, so the YouTubers, you know, people like myself, Deoxy360, Dossum Rider, Ranger Liz, you know, the, the people that want to do it, like that will listen and, and talk uh, and stuff. They, we will all talk about this for me. I mean, look at me, I'm still talking about it now. It's not being announced, but I'm kind of looking at, into a, a completely like different light on this. You know, any Super Sentai channel as well as Tokusatsu channel is going to be talking about this as well. Um, and they'll talk for a long time. They'll probably share their their feelings, their what they want to, uh, what they've liked about the, the franchise, what's been their best moments, all the way through Power Ranger history, and what they think about this. It, it's a given. I, I wouldn't expect them to do anything less if they did if they didn't. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what sorts of videos do kind of pop up when this happens. Some I reckon will be five minutes, some will be longer. It, it's, it's a given. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people will still take this and process this. Uh, I feel again that when this first dropped, I feel like a lot of us have processed all this. If it happens, like they've moved on. I remember when I first heard the news, I was like, what? But I kind of, uh, eh, if they do it, they do it. If they don't, they don't. I'm, I'm not, I'm over it effectively. I still love the brand and I will still talk about it but I'm kind of pretty much over most of it. I don't think they could shock me, not unless they did something really, really big. In general, I think a lot of people will say the same sort of thing. And, you know, I, I can see that happening quite a lot. What would be the next step? Um, I think for a few weeks, we'll be talking about it. It'll be talk of the town within the community. I feel like it will take a while for it to kind of stop. Um, and, you know, fair dues. I, I, I understand that this is a, a one of the biggest things within the Power Ranger community. Um, I think some fans would still be angry. I, I have no kind of like, I wouldn't be surprised if people were still angry at this news. I think some will be sad. I think generally moving away from this brand, I think a lot of people would be sad about it. And I can also see people making up uh, fake articles and stuff like that just for clicks. Power Rangers is definitely not splitting with Toya, here's why. And then it'll be like, here's the reasons why we think that they shouldn't be done. And that's all you'll see. And I think that's going to be a like a really big thing. And again, we're going to get posts of people not believing it and they can't believe that it's happened. Now, let's talk about what Hasbro is going to do. I feel like Hasbro has got quite a lot kind of planned already. And I think this is a, a thing that we kind of need to kind of discuss. So what will Hasbro do now? That's that's the main question in this. Um, I think they're going to do a few things with, with the brand and how they're doing. By the time of this recording, which is the 18th um, of May, 2021, um, I think shelving the brand um, would be TV only. Now, if they do this, I think this is gonna be a stupid move. I feel like a lot of people will forget about Power Rangers, not the fandom, believe me, not the fandom, but I feel like people outside will say that they have forgotten the brand. And I also kind of think that a lot of people say it should be shelved. I just think it needs to be kind of restructured. And I think we're seeing that with Dino Fury at the moment. Dino Fury is a really good show for what they're doing and they're trying stuff new. I feel like if they produce one more series, either live action or whatever, that they will kind of get it right and kind of stick with that new formula. You know, we need a new formula rather than like anything else. Now, 
if they shelve it, they will focus on the movie and Jonathan Entwistle's um, live action, whatever he's doing. This would be the, the main thing. Uh, this would be the main thing, I reckon, because they'll want to see how the film produces. They'll want to spend most of their time and efforts working on this as well as promoting it. And I think they'll do the same with Jonathan Entwistle. Uh, whatever he does, it'll be something like the Power Rangers or Power Rangers, and that'll be it. Um, I think that, yeah, they'll, they'll just figure out how, how to do it. If it is shelved, if the Power Ranger film flops, I generally don't think that we will see Power Rangers for a very long time because I think that Power Rangers would be stuck somewhere. You know, they'll really try to bring back the brand. But I feel like if they do this, it would stop. You, you know, the toys and all that will not stop. The Lightning Collection won't suddenly disappear. But I think what you'll see is you'll see more of a main focus. Without a main timeline of Power Ranger toys, like from the series, I think they'll put more time and effort into the Lightning Collection, bring up more, which is fine if you have the money, but dear God, it's expensive. Uh, so I, I feel like that's the, the main issue. They will just take their time working on this on, on the toy line uh, and get more stuff out rather than, I don't know, kind of leaving it. Uh, that's my kind of thoughts on, on that one. Now, if they made their own, now this has been referenced in Beast Morphers when Nate turns around and says, we can make our own Power Rangers. I feel like they will use that technology and I feel that that will happen and we will get their own stuff. If they make their own series of Power Rangers, that would be the best option. I feel like it keeps it in the mainstream market. It makes you think about it a lot more and it makes you go, well, I kind of really like that. So I feel that if they make their own show, that is what, what will happen. That's the main focus on this and that's what I would want to see rather than it be canceled. I'd rather in some form, shape or form that we still have Power Rangers to, to what it is now. Uh, now, the reason is I think we'll see a lot more. I think you'll see a lot more kind of diversity. You'll see a lot more inclusion. You will see more stuff than we have ever seen before with that brand. Because I feel like with the contract that they got with Toya at the moment, it stops the brand from growing. Uh, they can still do what they say. You know, they can still add a few things. But regardless, the main line for this is to, if Toya says no, they have to listen. And I think that's what Hasbro don't want. So if they do their own thing, you will see a whole shaped new form of Power Rangers, a new era, as they say, and that's going to be the main focus. That, I think, will make people happy. Don't get me wrong. I think from what I have seen, people will complain. Don't put politics, don't put agenda, don't put this into Power Rangers, and I think it's just going to get a bad rep. That's my kind of take on that one, but I want to see representation. I want to see more stuff, inclusion. I want to see the, the brand grow to be one of the best ones like it was in the, in the 90s, but I want to see more, as I say, more representation. I want to see more inclusion and I want to see where they would take the brand because that's the main thing. So just reading this. And finally, I think what would happen is that we're going to get an animated series, main series, kids show and adult. I do think that we are going to get these. It's not going to happen overnight. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be like, you know, we've ended the contract and, it, and tomorrow we're going to have like 20,000 animated series, you know, a kids series. I don't see that happening overnight. I see it happening within a year or so from like the announcement that they want to make sure that they get it right. I, I still believe that. If we have to get a Power Rangers go like Teen Titans or whatever, I feel like they'll go run down that road, but it will be a lot different than it would be that we see. I don't think it would be brought into the main timeline. I feel like they'll say, well, this is what kids want to see. So we'll make a series, but we also know what the fandom is like. So we'll make the our own version, but I also know that people like animation. So we'll make an animated series. These are the things that go well uh, that's that's exactly how i kind of think that, that well, i think that's literally what we can see and that's what i think will happen the way that i see it is it will be power rangers without the sentai it will then go into the film then into jonathan entwistle and then go into a kid show that's the literally kind of the progression that i see that's going to happen dear god i'm getting excited just thinking about it i hope it happens because i'd love to be right if I am Hasbro, hire me because I will fucking make your gro uh, your stuff grow like Rita's staff with a monster. <laughs> I love that. My conclusion, I think this is, I think that Hasbro wants to maximize the, the, the profits. I Like anyone who turns around and says, oh, Power Rangers needs to do this for the fans. No, at the end of the day, Hasbro wants to make money. That's it. We all want to make money with our, with our work, whatever. So yeah, I, I believe now is the time that they're thinking of maximizing their, their profits. Now, 
Again, Hasbro is a business and that's what they're thinking of. Now, uh, now I'm not saying that they're bad, I'm reading from the script, but I want to see what works and what doesn't. And I think Hasbro have seen this. I think this is the reason why they're testing. Does it go on Netflix? Will people watch the new series of Dino Fury? Uh, where do we put it? What are people gonna do? Are people gonna buy the brand? These are all things that we have to kind of consider. Um, you know, Hasbro have seen this and they did it with Beast Morphers and they did admit that the ratings wasn't that great. I think they admitted the toy sales weren't that great and this is the first time they were doing it so I gave them a pass. So I think they regrouped and they worked with Dino Fury and they're doing something different with the figures and that's it. And you know, it's it's being a slightly different on that sort of angle. Um, I want, I think that they're going to see how how does the show work? How does it, how what do, what works and what doesn't? And I feel like when it hits the next season, we'll see something completely different. Um, I think I, a prediction if we see in season two of Beast Morphers, if Jane and Jay Borg change dramatically, then we see that the comic duo didn't work and they want to change it. That's my kind of thoughts on it. No matter what we look, Dino Fury is doing something different that we've never really kind of seen that much. And this is when the fans love it and some fans hate it. You know, some fans want change, some, uh, some fans don't. It's just a, a weird thing. Does it mean that they're slowly moving stuff, easing stuff into the fandom? Yes. As soon as it's in there and people accept it, people are going to enjoy it for the next one later. Kind of wrapping this video up, as I mentioned, Hasbro want to make money. That's the that's the only thing. And what is a waste of time? What isn't? That's what you want to see. Um, I've also seen people talk about how they should stick to a dying formula or parents should stick to the dying ways just so that they're happy. And I feel like that is the worst thing. And if you think that, then you really need to rethink how Power Rangers is because if it's dying and no one's buying it, they'll cancel it, they will cancel it, and you will never see it ever again. And then you only have yourself to blame. But, you know, as, as bad as it sounds, as harsh as it is, we all want to see the brand bloom, grow, and become one of the best things out there. But if you want it to fail, then why are you even in this fandom? Why don't you go watch something else or be interactive? Hate to say it and hate to be that guy, but... You know, I don't want to see this this um, brand fail in any sorts of ways. But I kind of think those are all the things of what will happen when the split is announced, regardless of it's now, tomorrow, three years, eight years from now, whenever it is, whenever the split happens, that's exactly how I think it's going to happen. And I think that's literally what's going to be talked about. But yeah, I'm going to leave there. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that I'm right? Do you think that I'm wrong? Uh, let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, like it. If you hate it, dislike it. Whatever fits you, boo. Whatever fits you. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. If you like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.